Yo yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and this is not a video that I thought I was going to make and I I didn't, I actually made a, a pact to myself which was Drew don't make a video about this unless Sam makes a video about this and he has, he just made a video about it yesterday or today or whenever the fuck he made it there's a lot of stuff wrong with it and there's some stuff that I really need to call out in here and Lots of the comments, I read through some of the comments on the video, and lots of them are But what happened with Drew and Jason? What happened with Drew and Jason? What happened with Drew and Jason? And I haven't actually watched the full video yet But from what I've watched already, I can already see enough stuff that I can comment on and say that he's done wrong Like, he's, he's like, a lot of the stuff that was in jail while we, while he was talking about while we were in jail was, was correct And some of the stuff he's also said was correct, which is what I'm going to call him out on um, because it's stuff that he actually denied in the beginning and was why we fell out in the first place So let's get right into it. So I'm I've never done a reaction video before I don't plan on doing it like a normal fucking reaction video I'm just gonna look at some of the clips and look through the most important parts of the video And I'm just gonna do the end bit because I haven't watched the end bit yet and let's see how that goes And I walk around the corner and I look around the corner and it's a fucking cop car there. All right so the first thing that goes wrong in this whole video is that first bit. Um, at the beginning, when Sam is saying everything about the, the cop being there, originally Sam tried to pin it on Jason and was like, hey, Jason got us fucking arrested because he didn't tell us that there were police there. When actually by that point when Sam had said, oh shit, there's cops there, Jason wasn't with them anymore. He just wasn't there. He didn't... We were already fucking pissed at Sam because he was being a fucking crazy person, like super crazy, and I'll explain that towards the end of the video. And by that point he had had enough and we were fucking getting to the peak of our our points with just dealing with fucking Sam. Even his girlfriend told us before we went on this road trip from hell with him that we wouldn't be able to deal with it. And fuck, Kat, if I had listened to you, my life would have been so much easier. But yeah, and by that point, Jason wasn't already with them and he just left. How would he know there were police there and caught, like, how would he tell them that there's police there when he wasn't with them and then they left and then saw fucking police? Like, that's one of the main reasons why shit went down afterwards as well. So, thanks for admitting you were lying about that. I turn my head around like this, and this cop car just is screeching up behind us. He's got his gun out the window like this. Literally like in a movie. He's got his gun out those window like this. He's driving with this hand, gun in this hand. Get the fuck on the floor! Get the fuck on the floor! I can confirm, actually, that that did happen. Sam did get a gun pointed at his head because of all this. And there was lots of fucked up things that happened because of all of this. And can I just point out that this was your fault? This was your fault. And do you want to know why? Do you want to know why this is your fault? Because you specifically told us before... I didn't even go in the fucking building. I'll get more to that in, in later on. But you specifically told us that you'd looked up the trespassing law in Pennsylvania. You said you looked up the trespassing law in every state that we went to and trespassed because you said you knew what would happen if the situations like this happened. So do you think, whose fault do you think it is for fucking getting us in jail? Yours. Uh, oh yeah. Um, I later on find out that Pittsburgh laws, uh, or Pennsylvania laws, on uh, trespassing is a lot more serious than uh, California. Oh, you don't fucking say, Sam. It's way more serious. Then why did you tell us you'd looked us up, look up the trespassing law? Why did you do it? What was the point? I didn't even do anything. Like, if you watch this part of the video, Sam does perfectly explain why I got arrested in the situation, which would not have happened if Sam had not done this without telling us all of this. Like, what was the point? You should have told us the situation that we were getting into. Like, you don't fucking tell somebody you go in somebody's house to have a cup of tea and then steal all their shit and be like, this was a burglary, let's get out of here! The, f the fuck? Like, this put me through, through, my, through so much fucking trauma for so long. Like, I hate, I've been in jail again after this and it traumatized me to fuck. So the second time wasn't even that bad. It wasn't in a corrupt place. I was barely with other people. And like, but it, the first time traumatized me because of this fucking shit. All right, let's get further on into the video. And normally when I'm exploring abandoned buildings, I, I sometimes carry a knife, like not for protection really, it's just like sometimes you need to use a knife to cut something or 
Sometimes, sometimes, that's a, a huge understatement, Sam. You, in fact, you had this huge collection of knives, many collections, which even while I was at your house in California, you'd just throw at fucking trees like a crazy person just to see if you could get it at the right spot. Who does that? And then uh, you gave me a knife, which, by the way, I lost somewhere on our trip. But, and, like, that was fucked. Like... That, like, I'll get more onto that later, but, like, uh, towards the end of the video. But that was fucked. I'll just keep that in mind that he said that on camera. This is where I come in. This is where I come in. About four hours in, the door opens up and Drew comes in. And I'm like, what the fuck is Drew doing here? Um, because Drew didn't even come in the abandoned building. And what they'd done is the guy had a... Jason had green hair at the time. And the guy had identified the, the person who broke in as a guy with green hair and they'd gone to our bus, seen Drew there, guy with green hair, oh it must be him, and they took him in as well. So Drew ended up in jail with us even though he didn't even go in the building. Right, thanks for also saying that I, I got arrested even though I did not go in the building. That's what happened and I, <laughs> it's, it's not my fault that I happened to have the same colour hair as you and you got all of us, all five of us, bearing in mind you begged me to come into the building in the first place. I didn't want to go in because I hurt my arm prior. Like, we went into another place and I fell down some stairs. I really didn't want to go. And Chris didn't even want to go either. You really, really pushed Chris to go. You are really the fault of why Chris got fucked up from this as well. Right, so most of the stuff that Sam says from that point on is like really, is honestly all true. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit which is off, like there was a bit, like when he says there was the racial divide and stuff when we were like in the place, but, um, there, there was, but we all did chat. Like there was like the way we were sitting happened to be racially divided, but it was just because all of the people who happened to be black there were friends, like they all knew each other. So they all sat on the side, or at least the majority of them did. And I think there was like a couple people who were sat on our side. So, I mean, I don't think that's true. But uh, there was also a point when, um, because they, obviously I have my weed leaf tattoo and I'm in jail, that we got talking about that and that did break a lot of the ice with, with just us being in there when they thought we were like some rave people who got arrested for MDMA. I'm also just saying, there is a point, there's a point in Sam's video where he says that he couldn't remember anyone's numbers or anything. How fucked is this year? So while he was in there, he couldn't remember what his girlfriend, his girlfriend for a year, he couldn't remember what her last name was. Well, I think he could remember what it was, well, just about. Definitely couldn't remember how to spell it because he was trying to call somebody up and was like, oh, well, no, somebody else was on the phone to somebody else when we couldn't find out what Kat's number was. And we were like, can you go on Kat's Instagram and then find out her and then get your friend who you're calling on your phone to get them to go on Kat's Instagram and tell her the situation and call the jail. And when we tried to do that, Sam went on the phone with that person and was like, oh, her Instagram, it, the Instagram's just her name, it's, uh, Kat. Uh, 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 like, that's, that's pretty fucked. But then afterwards, obviously, yeah, there is the point when we get out, I got out two hours before him, and, uh, Kat turned up with some weed. Oh, man, that was banging. That was probably the best part about the whole situation, that I managed to get out of jail, and I instantly managed to smoke, because Sam really didn't respect smoking. He obviously, he didn't, doesn't even respect that I do it medically. If you look up in my past videos, you'll understand that I have really bad PTSD and anxiety. I used to not go outside in the dark, and it really helped me, and Sam really doesn't respect that, and barely would let me smoke. I'd have to do it, like, kind of secretly, and not to show him the whole time and it was just annoying uh luckily his girlfriend smoked and he didn't like that and she turned up afterwards um this is where it gets really dumb okay this is where it's not fun anymore this is where it gets like super serious um yeah there was there were some fucked situations in in the jail and i've learned to get over it but the real fucked situation is what happened afterwards and i'm pretty sure sam doesn't mention anything about it in the video Right, so there's just this magical point when it's like we get out of jail and then we go to the court date after all of that Oh, that's fucking magical. No, that's not what happened. Okay. Here's what happened after the fucking court date Here's what happened. This is still jail time by the way. Oh, I went to jail You realize you're missing two weeks of the whole story like we're on bail at this point as soon as we come out of jail We're on bail. We're on bail. Like what do you think it is like we come out of jail and then we start mowing the lawn like no By the way, thank you very much to Kat's dad for bailing us out out. Not Sam for bailing us out, Kat's dad for bailing us each out of $5,000, which obviously he got back afterwards when we turned up to the court date. So he didn't lose $5,000, he just temporarily lost 
$5,000. But which I can't ever thank you enough. I could not have stayed in jail for two weeks. But after we came out, Sam started doing all these weird things. Um, there were a couple times beforehand when Sam was very aggressive and rude and nasty about everything. Everything that happened. And it's fucked. So, so the first thing that happened was we came back and we wanted to move on. Like even like Kat's dad who had paid our bail did not want us there. He wanted us to move on. He didn't want us there for two fucking weeks until our court date. Like we already fucked up enough. He doesn't want us around the house. And then Sam starts making up all this stuff. Like, oh, we need to like do all these chores and stuff which didn't exist. And then like, the, he came back and was like, why did you do these chores? It was the complete wrong season to do those chores. Like, you'd just, you'd have to do them in a week. Like, it was just so dumb. And it didn't make any sense. And then there was a point when we were like, dude, we want to just leave. And he like, literally like, where he said he had a knife on him at all times, he like, held the knife and was just like, we didn't like, get the knife like, fucking like, super fucking, yeah, but he like, held the knife and was like, no, like, and it was so aggressive and it was fucked, like, and I was just like, whoa, man, I don't want anything to do with that. And me and Jason were texting and, like, I honestly, if I really, really wanted to, I could go through mine and Jason's text all the way to November, but they go so far down. Um, the only thing I can do is I didn't really text Sam too much. Um, so I'm going to quickly go on my phone and obviously I know there's a lot of stuff about like people fucking faking phone conversations. So I'm going to do this right now. So I'm going to search Sam P on my fucking phone. Sam P. All right. There's Sam P. Um, oh, I'll turn my screen brightness down. Uh, there's Sam P. Um, if you want to put that in HD and then screenshot this. Uh, wait, I have to turn that like that. So that's the text that um, so get here right now. This is so demanding. Like one of the worst things was like, uh, so this is when it happened when he was like, obviously he said in the video, he was texting people. And one of the people he texted was me cause he didn't realize I got arrested. And it said arrested inside call Dylan on my way to jail. Fuck. And then cat's address. Um, and obviously that was on the Tuesday, 27th, 29th of September. You can just about see that on the top. Um, and then after we get out of jail, Literally, so in the morning, me and Jason walk to fucking McDonald's. We just walk to McDonald's to get some food. And then I get these texts from Sam uh, saying, uh, Cat needs your address uh, to come get you. Like, literally, so it just says, what's your address? Cat needs to come get you. You need to do some uh, stuff at the house for Dave. Like, no, we fucking did not. No, we, no, we didn't. Like, he didn't ask us to do shit. He even told us that. Okay, stay outside McDonald's, don't leave. Like, how fucking demanding do you have to be? And then I even asked him if, he, if I could get uh, in contact with his lawyer, and he literally just sent me the fucking thing and just left it. And I, like, and I asked him if he could possibly give me a lift, uh, and he said no. And do you want to know why we left each other? Because after I felt so uncomfortable, and me and Jason felt so uncomfortable around this fucking weirdo, we went off in a taxi. We went off in a, well, actually we didn't. We walked three and a half miles, four miles, at about 4 a.m. We left at 4 a.m., told them we were just going on like a run to Sheets, and we left, and we didn't fucking come back. And we were scared as fuck, because we were walking and walking like, holy shit, I really hope they don't find us, I really hope they don't come and find us, I really hope they don't come and find us, we need to just leave and walk and walk. And eventually, after three hours we contacted a taxi people and so we, we get in contact with these taxi people and they're like okay so you guys uh no no we get in contact with the taxi people and we explain the whole situation to them everything down to the last detail and they were like okay we're gonna come pick you up we're gonna come and they come get us and we're like fuck thanks fuck and beforehand because obviously i'm on bail i smoked all of the weed i had in one joint and then the taxi people were like Yo guys, do you, so, what, so what's gone on? And like, I was like, you know, just like tonight. And then we just explained what we had just done, like on the walk since we'd been on the phone to them. And I was like, I smoked all my weed. And they were like, you smoked all your weed? Well, fucking, you can smoke some of my weed. And we just smoked in the taxi and we smoked at the taxi place. And then I fled to New York and uh, Jason fled to Kentucky. And we weren't even actually sure if I should have left the state. I don't even give a fuck. I left the fucking state. Um, and then I left to New York. I went to New York, chilled there, waited for Jason to get the van, which he managed to get on the morning of the court date. We turn up to the court date. As Sam says, everything Sam said about the court date is fine. We then leave the court date. 
We need to get our shit from the shuttle bus and put it in the van. Sam, at this point, is chill with me. He's chill, because he thinks that Jason did all of this. So, I text Sam, and I'll get these texts up, I'll get these texts up. Um, I text Sam, and I say, I say, uh, is it cool for me to come quickly by the house to grab the rest of my stuff from the bus uh, before I head to my hotel? I have a flight early in the morning. And then he said, bus is unlocked, just don't go in the house. Sam, that was Sam. That was literally what Sam said. So I turn up to the I turn up to the bus and I get there and I ask him no I get there and there's people there and I'm like oh shit well I didn't think there was going to be people there and at that point I'm like well fuck they've obviously sussed out that Jason's with me like they've worked it out because they were really not on good terms with Jason at this point which Sam did not show in this video at all and I was there and I managed to just about pick up all of mine and Jason's stuff and by the point I picked up literally all of mine and Jason's stuff Sam then obviously fucking realised I was with him and obviously I wasn't just picking up a few things so he wouldn't lose his expensive shit. And uh, I'm walking with my stuff and I have, I have Jason's baseball bat so I know Sam's not going to fuck with me at this point. And I'm walking and Sam's like constantly saying like, oh can I help you with the stuff, can I help you with the stuff and bring it to your taxi and I was like, no I'm good, no I'm good, no I'm good. I'm walking and walking and walking and then it's just like, alright well I'm going to go skate and see Jason. And I'm like, well fuck, he knows. So I text Jason, I'm like, Jason he knows, he knows, he knows. So this is what the road looks like. We're walking down here. Sam, Jason is up the top here, and Sam's down the bottom by the junction. And Sam just starts skating towards Jason, like head on, while he's driving towards him. And at the last second, Sam just jumps away, which is an idiot thing to do. Skating on the wrong side of the road towards traffic. Like, you're dumb. You're fucking dumb. And then, Jason swings the fucking van doors open, I throw all of my shit into there, we jump in, we don't even bother shutting the fucking door, and the last time I've seen Sam Pepper's fucking face was him running towards the back of the van, yelling and screaming some shit that I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. And you know what? You think, oh man, that's so fucked, it should end there, but it doesn't. I then get to fucking LA and I'm there and after like this long road trip of getting back from Pennsylvania to LA all I get from all of my fucking friends is Sam knows where you are, he's coming to you and like literally giving the location where I'm at like Sam knows where you are, Sam's coming to you, blah 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 and I'm like what the fuck? I can't even enjoy myself here, what's the point in being in LA in America when I fucking hate it here, I'm scared that Sam Pepper is gonna fucking find out where I am like that's why, like, one of the reasons why I came back in the first place in November, before my fucking visa ran out. Like, I think it was 28 days early. Because I didn't want to be in LA anymore. Like, it was scary. I was so fucked. And I thought, if Sam's uploading this stupid video, and he's not explaining anything correctly, I thought I should do a video explaining what actually happened. And if you want... Any more fucking screen touch of shit if you really want me to show you all of the texts between me and Jason being scared for our lives and stuff in November. That's Jason texting me now actually. Um, if you want all of that I'll send it to you. I don't care. I don't care. Ask me and it's there. Um, this is also one of the reasons why when this whole oh give Sam a second chance thing came about I was like I was like no I'm not fucking posting anything about that because one that's done because he's fucked up on like six occasions on YouTube like for so many different things so you're not giving him a second chance giving him a sixth chance I have known Sam for four years I stopped speaking to him two years ago because he got fucking weird I gave him a second chance in actual life and he was still fucking weird by the way Sam uh. When am I going to get that thousand dollars back that I paid for the bus? Because I don't know where it went. I mean, I thought you said, oh, I'm going to sell the bus and then I'll give you the thousand dollars that you fucking paid for it. Go down, do you want me, I can send all the screenshots of every PayPal transfer and then show all of the you now screenshots, so show how, many, how much money we made from that, and you're, you're a cunt. And I know you're watching this right now, so... <sighs>